Now I'm going to wear a different hat. As a deputy director in charge of science for phase one industrial. The light is on, but I don't hear the sound. One, two, three. Left, right, madam, we're not in bed. Don't forget. Phase one is a Danish company based in Copenhagen, which makes professional grade cameras used for glossy magazines and uh, fashion industry images, uh, each costing around $20,000. Nikon, Canon, and the rest that everybody wants to have if they're into uh, fashion uh, photographic products. So the company has been on the market in its niche for a long time. Since 2008, they acquired Leaf Imaging, an Israeli-based company, which used to be part of Cytex and later Kodak. And they developed a shutter, Zatwor. developed a central projection shutter and an electronic backer for digital cameras which uh, by gar guarantee you could have 1150 clicks now it's up to 1 million so Phase one industrial is now, so it was purchased in 2008. The Israeli company was purchased by the Danish based phase one industrial, and now it's an R&D unit. All cameras, all sensors are designed in the Israeli company, in the Israeli department of that company. Phase one is generally recognized on the Russian market, recently driving sales hyped. It used to be up to 50 megapixel, then 60 megapixels, 80 megapixel. The most popular one was RS-1000. This is the uh, distribution of uh, phase one across the world, 50 partner centers for sales and technical support all over the world. It used to operate with integrators, meaning it, it sold OEM products. And then the integrators would integrate it and uh, sell it further on. Since uh, last year, they started making ready-to-made, ready-made products that you can immediately mount on a UAS or an air aircraft, and it it starts taking pictures. This is a, a lineup of products made these days by phase one, IXU RS-1000 is 1000, is 100 megapixel camera that was on the market for two years, selling up to 300 units all in all. This is a newer version, 190 megapixel camera. Of course, uh, you can purchase it for further integration and uh, add up GNSS system, 
stabilizer. These are even newer ones, RS100 and 150. They are to replace these ones with 50 megapixels. It's a two sensor camera that was designed specifically for aircraft and drone application. Phase one, which I announced last year, it was launched at Intergeo. So at the recent Rockrosis conferences, I gave you an overview of this camera. We even uh, brought it with two lenses, focal distant, distance 90 millimeters, 190 megapixels, and the camera sells uh, as a self-sustained unit or to be integrated. And it can uh, take colored images, infrared images for agricultural purposes and uh, forestry applications. It's, uh, it's very good. I think the next uh, presentation will uh, tell us how well it showed itself in Russia, this camera. I understand. So this is a new camera. Which will surely uh, replace 100 or even 190 megapixel cameras. So here we have 100 megapixel or 150 megapixels. They're using new sensors, highly sensitive, primarily Sony manufactured, with backlight illumination where the light comes through uh, a, a different uh, part of the sensor and dynamic range is 83 and 84. Uh, whereas CCD cameras have a dynamic range of 74. So this camera can operate in uh, worse lighting conditions and still deliver good quality images with uh, high exposure of the lens. Cameras are very small weighing less than one kilogram without lens and with lens uh, 1.5 kilograms. This is for aerial photography applications for drones and UAS. We have different cameras to offer. So you can attach all the lenses that have been made before and even a better lenses are being manufactured now. The company making lenses is uh, stationed in uh, Japan. This is another subsidiary of phase one. So they des design optics uh, based on the German technology. A Rodenstock, which was the most popular, is easy to calibrate, good for photogrammetrics. So today, it's made in Japan by phase one. I XM 100 and 150 uh, designed primarily for object inspection. Well, now that I have internet, uh, we can run a video Now let's see how it works. Site or object inspection means inspecting any sites, structures. Three frames. Two 
two for infinity and uh, two can focus. So when you you fly 10 to 20 to 30 meters, you don't need infinity. And from the ground, you can focus your camera to a specific object. And the same object uh, can be imaged with uh, two varying foci. It's water resistant, dust proof. It uses DJI M600 to fly. Dust and water resistant cameras able to fly in an open uh, flying device. What's critical for this type of imaging? So it, it's used for object inspection. A F means automatic focus. So f for them, these cameras are better. They're also used for monitoring and inspection of power lines, turbines, Lufthansa, for example, did a project, a couple of projects, like Aeroflot from Russia, Lufthansa. It's bigger, though, and they have a special unit that performs object inspection. A couple of American companies purchased these cameras to inspect or scan large bridges. Uh, it used to be done manually and uh, cost an arm and a leg. But now we sell a full package, DJI a drone uh, with a camera. It will not cost $2,000, and it also delivers predictable results. This is a distortion model of IXM RS100. This is after, this is an undistorted model, a real pixel. Maximal residual distortion following correction is less than half a pixel. On the edges, we see some remnants, but they're all less than uh, 0.5 millimeter. And this is for 35 millimeter frames. Uh, we consider a 70 millimeter lens uh, to be a conventional original one with uh, two millimeter. And all this uh, can be corrected with standard formulas. And we, uh, we can uh, deliver un undistorted images that have been fixed uh, using uh, our software. So what happens to forward motion compensation? CMOS used TDI system that uh, could move or shift uh, pixels of the camera depending on the speed of flight. Simus is much more sensitive than a, an ordinary CCD. Uh, here they apply a blue control technique, blur control technique. Let's say you need one pixel blur. 
uh, with this kind of exposure, one to one thousand six hundred, you can fly at one hundred and eighty-eight kilometers per hour. And the shift here will be one pixel. If you're okay with two pixel blur, then you can enhance your speed, double your speed. Uh, these are samples of uh, vehicles driving in opposite directions at the speed of 120 kilometers with the aircraft speed of 167. Height 490 meters, GSD 3.7, so relative speed is 287. You can use maximum exposure. As you can see, practic practically no blurs. This is a typical image taken by a high sensitivity camera. Uh, as you can see, the aircraft was flying in the in this direction, and vehicles going in the opposite directions. Along and across, we can see that uh, the quality is the same. Uh, we blew it up to 300 percent. The flight altitude. The flight altitude depends on the focal distance. I used 90 millimeter as a reference. A 190 megapixel camera has this kind of uh, focal distance. Acquisition rate. There is absolute uh, production. If we take 190 megapixel, then the acquisition rate will be 320 kilometers per hour uh, with 30 percent uh, forward overlap and GSD 10, per 10 centimeters. Relative uh, productivity compared to 80 megapixel with 190 megapixel will uh, gain 159 percent and for RS 150 F 38 percent increment so if you have uh, a lot of municipalities and, and towns you better use 150 megapixel uh, because uh, you're going to use an overlap of 40 to 50 percent, not 30 percent. And any advantage of large format camera immediately disappears. If there are a lot of open areas, 190 would be a better deal because its acquisition rate is much higher and it's, it's better be used there. Number of strips couple of pretty pictures. This is one centimeter GSD image taken from a drone. It was a joint project with one of the German universities. They uh, compared different cameras to see which quality and accuracy are delivered. They should publish the results of uh, their survey at the end of the year. Well, I published mine already. I just wanted to show you the crisp image. This is one centimeter GSD. Uh, this is uh, 2.3 centimeter GSD. This has been taken in Israel at uh, one of the um, testing grounds. This is one 50 megapixel image acquired from 500 meters with GSD 3.7 millimeter focal distance, 50 millimeter area, 520 by 320 meters.
So this is the kind of uh, magnification you can get here. This is the inspection of power lines. Inspection of the wind turbines. And in conclusion, I can say a few words about the company Phase One and its products, which, in terms of mid format camera, is the only camera, is the only company which is purely photogrammetric because Hasselblad also has mid format cameras. They have this pixel resolutions, but they were sold by DJI, actually, and Hasselblad belongs to DJI, the uh, yeah, Chinese company, and uh, they don't. They are not doing photogrammetry. At least, they don't deliver the same results. Nobody has seen their results anyway. So, and Phase One now is entering the large format camera markets, and now they have 190 megapixels, and soon will have 300 megapixels, I'm sure. Thank you.